What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Noob Cyclist. This is your host Saphonius. Today uh, we're going to talk about the big story and any sport tracking related news. Garmin just got hacked. Actually they're being held hostage by a ransomware for 10 million dollars from some of the reports I've read online. What does this mean to you? The, the cyclist that is just getting started into uh, tracking your activities on uh, a Garmin device and uh, Strava uh, how are you affected well uh, I, I, I went out for a ride yesterday I uh, did one of my longest rides so by far which was uh, about 28 miles and uh, I recorded everything uh, on Garmin and Strava uh, but my Strava information was all messed up because uh, my phone died during the ride so it just recorded the last point which is my house as uh, you know part of the ride so I had to completely rely on my Garmin data to uh, you know to, to see you know, how I did in the ride and lo and behold I, I go into Garmin connect and what do I see my information is not it cannot be synced because Garmin is experiencing maintenance issues actually it says uh, to be exact Garmin connect is going through a maintenance and uh, it can no it can no longer sync uh, my stuff until that maintenance is done lucky for me and the new cyclist or any cyclist out there uh, there is a way to get your Garmin data into Strava and uh, sync up your activity and today that's what I will be doing I'm gonna be showing you how to sync up your like, data collected on your Garmin uh, device into uh, your uh, Strava and uh, for to demonstrate that I'm gonna be using my uh, Garmin Edge uh, 1030 but you can use whatever uh, Garmin device you use whether it's a watch or you know a 530 or whatever edge device you have and you'll be able to uh, sync up your activities with your uh, other activity tracker apps like Strava I'm just gonna use Strava as an example because that's what I use and that's uh, I, I, oh, I actually oh actually I actually used it on uh, the app relive as well so you can use it both in both situations it's very simple straightforward before I do that uh, what does syncing mean so when uh, we sync to application uh, it is pretty much as simple as one application in this case Strava going into Garmin connect which is another application and requesting a certain data and putting it into their own database so the data formatting and stuff like that is kind of standardized between these uh, activity tracker apps so uh, when it pulls it and puts it in Strava they can get they can you can see pretty much the same thing you see in Garmin connect so basically what we're going to do is going into your Garmin device and pulling that data and putting it into Strava importing it into Strava manually instead of you know the applications communicating now you're doing the communicating part it's as simple as that so let's get to it the first step in this manual syncing process is uh, you take your Garmin device and you connect it to your computer using the USB cable provided with your uh, Garmin device. Once you connect your Garmin device to your computer via USB, uh, we wanna find out where our activities are stored so that we can grab them and upload them into Strava. So the first thing you do is uh, you know since your Garmin is connected it's gonna show up as uh, a storage device something like a USB drive or an SD card so you find that device and uh, go into it uh, inside of the Garmin device there is a Garmin folder 
Uh, we go into that. All the apps that are on your Garmin device are organized into these different folders. So within them, they contain the different files they need to operate on your uh, Garmin device. So what we want is the activities so that we can take that and sync up with uh, uh, Strava. So uh, we go into the activities folder and find that specific activity. For me, it's this one, uh, which is the, you know an activity from July 27, and I wanted to sync that up with Strava. So I just want that. So there are two ways of doing this. One is you co you copy this file into your hard drive and uh, upload that into Strava, or you can just directly upload from your Gar Garmin device. It doesn't make any difference. For me, I don't want to add uh, more files, more unnecessary files into my computer. So I'm just going to do it directly from Garmin. So now that we find that we found out where the activity file is, we go into our uh, Strava. So once you go into your Strava, on the right uh, top corner, there's a plus sign uh, button here. Uh, when you hover over it, you'll see these uh, options pop up. Choose the upload activity one. Inside of upload activity, you'll see all the different uh, devices that uh, you are con I'm connected to Garmin. So, you, you know, if you're using whatever it is, whatever activity you're using, I mean, whatever activity tracker you're using, it should show up here. Uh, but this is not what we're interested in. Like, I'm, as you can see, I'm connected to Garmin, but Garmin is down because they're being hacked or, you know, held hostage, uh, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I will go into the file here, which is a manual up, uh, upload. I do, you don't want to go into manual because that means you're typing up and like putting in distance and stuff like that. That's not what we're interested in. We just want to, we already have that information and in more detailed fashion so we, we want to upload the file directly into Strava so uh, you go in here click choose files and uh, as you can see I've already uh, here because I, I've already uploaded it but uh, let we can just go up here to this PC and in here it shows up we already know where it is we, we already found out where our uh, file is stored and uh, you go into Garmin activities and boom we want the one from 725 so that's the one and you click open and it should do it but uh, I'm not gonna click that because it's gonna add a second activity to my uh, profile so yeah it's as simple as that once you click open it should show up training in my activities and you will see as you can see uh, i marked it as uploaded from garmin and it's the one from 725 and everything that was tracked will show up in your device even the map information that that fit file has everything that uh, your garmin records so uh you know it has all the map stuff and uh, all the you know relative effort heart rate uh if we're using power meter like power information and stuff like that so uh simply that's how uh you sync up your garmin device with strava thank you everybody for watching this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you like the video if you have any comments please leave them down below in the comment section. As always, stay safe, keep cycling, and be cool. Peace out.